and I'm excited today to be looking at the uh, ribbon cutting and the official uh, acceptance of this new bridge. So we have the city of Johnston and Polk County Conservation. This is a major artery and connection. And April 9th, 2019, this bridge went in the drink. This was an old trestle to trestle bridge with very close trestles. There were ice flows that were coming down. You know, historically when this bridge was built, uh, decades, decades ago, this was a, a little stream. Now in the spring, sometimes it can be on a raging river. So the bridge went down. We looked at what needed to happen. It's taken three years to get partners together and another half year to build it, maybe a little longer, but we're here today. You're gonna hear from a lot of the partners. So I've got uh, <clears throat> in uh, our lineup here, Mayor Paula Dierenfeld with the city of Johnston. We have council member uh, Carl Voss, who is on the Des Moines City Council. We have Supervisor Brown, Brown, uh, Bob Brownell with Polk County. We also have Supervisor Angela Connolly that's here. And then I'll do some closing remarks. So my job is just to introduce you and then to start our line of speakers and I'll be back at the end. Thank you for being here today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, and as Rich has already said, I'm Paula Dierenfeld, and I am the mayor of Johnston. You know, what a beautiful day. You know, not only is the weather amazing, but it's actually beginning to feel a little bit like fall. You know, it's quite a contrast to the day three and a half years ago when the ice jam came down the Beaver Creek River, or Be Beaver Creek, uh, down Beaver Creek, and took out the old trestle to trestle bridge. For years, the old bridge stood as the crossing point between Johnston and Des Moines under, eight, under Interstate 8035 connecting the inner urban trail with the Neil Smith Trail. But the flooding combined with the ice jam in the spring of 2019 was too much for the bridge to handle and as Humpty Dumpty might say, the trestle bridge came falling down. Within a couple of days of the bridge collapsing, I saw Polk County a supervisor, Bob Brunell, out at Lifetime Fitness, and I said to him, Bob, I think God has given us a gift here. While trail users would be anxious to, be, to have the bridge quickly replaced, I suggested we had an opportunity to replace the old bridge with something that could be more aesthetically interesting, an attraction for trail users throughout central Iowa. The fact that it could be seen from the interstate added to the appeal of making it something truly special. As I'd hoped, Supervisor Brunell embraced the idea and started sharing it with others at Polk County, including Rich Leopold and other, other county supervisors. Shortly after that, representatives of all the agencies involved, Polk County, Polk County Conservation, Polk County Public Works, the cities of Johnston and Des Moines, and the state of, the state of Iowa and the Metropolitan, Organi Metropolitan Planning Organization started meeting and planning for the bridge we see here today. I want to I want to thank everyone who's been involved in the construction of the bridge for your hard work and for your vision. I don't think a week has gone by since the bridge collapsed that someone hasn't asked me when is that new bridge going to be rebuilt and when is it going to be ready for us to use. I've assured them, as have all of the partners, that if they could just be patient, we would soon have a bridge that is truly amazing and something that we could all be proud of. Well. Just as soon as we cut the ribbon, I expect that the trail users from all over, and starting with those that are, that are here today, will converge on the bridge and marvel not only at its beauty, but also the, spe the spectacular views it has to offer. Again, I want to thank all of our partners in this project, Polk County, Polk County Conservation, Des Moines, the State of Iowa, MPO, for working with us to make the vision that began three years ago a reality. I also want to thank the trail users in Johnson and throughout the surrounding areas for their patience as we work to make the new Trestle Trestle Bridge something truly amazing. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mayor. Well said. And now I believe we'll have a Des Moines City Council person, Carl Voss. 
Hi, good afternoon. I'm Carl Voss. I'm an at-large council member for the city of Des Moines. Uh, the, the mayor and our council colleagues are so pleased that this bridge is going to reopen. Uh, we are a partner in this also. Th this uh, trail is important to Des Moines and our access to ice cream in Johnson. <laughs> now, I bet this, uh, this evening, I bet dollars to donuts that one of the uh, news outlets is going to refer to this as a bike trail. I hate bike trails. This is a trail. There are 300 plus trails in Polk County alone and not one dang trail is called a bike trail. This is for all users. This is for people who walk, walk with their dog, run, inline skate, scooters, bird watchers, everything else. But it's not a bike trail. So let's see if we can get it right this time, guys. Uh, I, I want to also call out a couple people who are important in this bridge today. Uh, Rich Volker from uh, Snyder, can you raise your hand? The design of this bridge is about Rich. And uh, he also was a key partner in the High Trestle Trail Bridge. Mike Lambert, uh, did the lighting on this bridge. This is not the time of the day to see the lighting, but Mike, can you uh, raise your hand so people stand up, Mike. Oh. Thank you. Let's, let's all get out and use this, and I know this is going to be a boost to ice cream sales in Johnston, so thank you. All right, thanks so much, Carl. And now representing the Polk County Board of Supervisors, let's give a warm welcome. He's one of my bosses. Bob Brownell. I'm not sure I'm one of Richard's bosses. I think he's one of mine, actually. Uh, okay, on, on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, I'm Robert Brownell. I represent the area. I want to recognize my colleague, Angela Conley, who's chair of our board, and the whole Board of Supervisors. Very, very gratified to see cities and counties and, and different uh, entities come together and, and put together a project like this. It's very, comp it's very complicated and it's very complex, these bridge projects. It wasn't too complex for the iceberg that came down and took the bridge out, but it was complicated to get it built back again. So three and a half years later, we have a bridge. It's a beautiful bridge, and I want to thank Snyder Associates for the design, United Contra Contractors for the building of it. I saw a couple of United Contractors uh, best here, look like they're about 10 years old, uh, somewhere in, our, in the here, but uh, they, are, they are the people that put it together, so we're proud of them. Uh, and probably the staff of Johnston and others. You know, this, this uh, bridge is will be used by people of Johnston, yes, and people of Des Moines, yes, but also all people of Metro, across the metro area, not just in Polk County, but people in Dallas County, Warren County, other places. We use this bridge, so we dedicate this bridge to everyone in the Metro. It's located in Johnston, but it's for everyone. And uh, I want to pledge to you on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, we will continue to support projects like this where cities and, and counties come together and work together and put together projects like this that benefit the whole metro. Thanks very much. Have a good time on the bridge. All right, very good. Just in closing up, I think everybody had been thanked. The only others I wanted to thank was Polk County Public Works, Bob Rice and his crew. They were actually project managers and did a lot of the on the ground work here. Um, and just to sum it all up, the interconnectedness of it. So not only you know is this recreational trail, hopefully that's allowed, a, a recreational trail, connecting the communities, but going through here is Beaver Creek. The city of Johnston has done a wonderful job at uh, embracing early the idea of water trails. And there's actually a couple inlets up here. You go a little further downstream, you got the confluence with the Des Moines, and Des Moines itself has some takeouts planned down there. So there's a lot happening here in Des Moines, and in a time of seeming divisiveness, this is an example, a symbol of how we can work together to make things better. So I'm going to stop talking. We're going to have the ceremonial ribbon cut, and then we invite you all to be the first, officially, to storm the bridge, to walk across the bridge. Thank you.
for this. Uh, we do have city council members. Yeah. We have, we have them the mic. Rhonda, Tom. Can we have other city council members, boards of members of the boards of supervisors, please come on up and join the photo op.